Hello, hi guys. Good morning. Welcome back to the new video. And it's a very, 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 very easy question. If you have been watching our video since last even a week, you should be able to solve it. That's it. Uh, let's quickly jump into the problem statement. Longest arithmetic subsequence of given difference. The word itself, the wording longest something something sequence of something something. You have heard this word. If not, then you will see that. Okay, what not? Um, but yeah. Let's quickly jump into the problem statement. Uh, we are having an integer array um, called as integer array. Um, we have a difference, a variable, and we have to return the length of the longest subsequence in the array ARR. And you know the subsequence, you can skip the elements and then pick the elements. Uh, longest subsequence, which is an arithmetic sequence. And what we call an arithmetic sequence? It is nothing but A, A plus D, A plus 2D, where A is any starting uh, number. And then I just keep on adding the difference in that number. And then it becomes an AP or arithmetic progression. Cool. Um, so the difference between the adjacent elements and in an AP, always the difference is D between the adjacent elements. You will easily see here itself um, is this subsequence equal to difference so the difference d right here which you see d is actually this difference which is uh, having in the question and next it is told what's a subsequence like so as you were reading this problem name itself you should be able to get the intuition of okay something of s longest increasing subsequence well, it's a very 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 sad problem and if you, have, if you have not watched it i will highly recommend go and watch these although 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 it's not required for this question because i'll go from scratch even if you don't know it no matter what still you sh you should be able to do it but still it's highly recommended to go and watch these especially this it's actually going to be used in this problem itself now um as we'll go on to any number so we we, we just usually say that firstly look at the problem statements i can't pick all these subsequences right so what i will see is constraints Oh, it's either I can do a n or o of n log n. But uh, uh, we have seen that longest increasing subsequence is the o of n square and o of n log n. So shall I go with this approach or shall I go with the n square approach? Let's firstly see the example itself. So what happens is that if you have one, two, three, four, so I, and see whenever I'm going to think I'll go and start thinking on the middle element as I'm on the any element any middle element I'll go and ask my previous elements hey bro what is the longest increasing what is the longest arithmetic sequence up till you if you are a difference of this d to me then I will just say okay your arithmetic longest arithmetic sequence up till you is let's say four and for sure you have a difference of one with me so please add one because i will add in your sequence so this number three will go and ask all the previous states it is what happens it goes goes and asks all the previous state hey bro two what is the longest arithmetic sequence up till you and is are you the difference of one with me cool when i say one it is actually one not a minus one you remember right uh Okay, it will just say, yeah, yeah, bro, I am the difference of one with you. So you can just increase your length. Now it will just go and ask this one. Hey, bro, what is the longest arithmetic sequence up till you? And also is the difference of you as one with me? No, it's a two. So it will not count this one. So basically it is what happens. Okay, at one stage, I'm going and asking for all the previous stages and see it's very, very, very normal. It just happens everywhere. If you are at any point of time, you just go and ask everyone else, bro, what is what is you have done? And then you can give me the answer and then I can add one in your answer if you are good. And how to know you are good? You are good only when the difference of you and me is one. Cool. Um, and the same, it will go for every element. Let's say for this example itself, for three, you will go and ask all the, all the previous states, uh, five, eight, seven, five, one, if, what is the longest arithmetic sequence up till you and then if you have a difference of minus two with me then i can add you in my answer then i can add your las in my answer plus one because one okay up till let's say up till five let's say las length is when i say las it is longest arithmetic subsequence let's say las length is three and then for sure from five i can go to three because the difference is minus two so i can easily say okay please add a one so it's it's it, it will become a four now is it required to go on all the previous states? It is my question. Is it required to go, go on all the previous states? No. It will only be one state from which I can come to three. It will always be a five. How? Because after five, after doing a minus two, only three will come, which means before three, the only valid number which I should count is a five. 
before three, the only valid number I should count is a difference of one, which is a two. So rather than going on all the previous states, the slight change in this is I'll go on only that state which has a difference of one. And that is how, and that, that will only be a one number because if a number is three, if I do any difference, then let's say D. So it will just give me one distinct value because this D is distinct because this D is nothing but one. So it will always give me a two. So that will be one distinct value. That's the reason. You don't have to go on all the previous states. You just need to go on just one single state. It is how we thought. That's the reason I just specifically mentioned. It will be helpful, helpful. If you just go and watch these two. Now in this, you will just easily see that, okay, how I go on every previous every previous state i was thinking of making the same but then i realized it's not required because i can just get a unique state i can go to and from that i can simply get my answer so that is all you have to do in this simple problem that what you will do is you will just go on if, if this is an element if this is an element if this three was an element right so the number I had to go on for this three to find the LAS or LAS of this three LAS of this element three to find that I have to go on LAS of element minus difference. It will just give me okay. What is the longest automatic sequence up till that element minus difference, which is nothing but this number five. So I will just go and ask what is LAS for that element minus difference and it will just give me okay the length for that up till that is let's say this maximum thing i will simply add a one because i'm going from five to one i'm going from five to one so a one one is added and then i'll update my this particular length of this particular element this is nothing but the las length and simply i just want the las out of all the numbers so i'll simply keep on going LAS as maximum of existing LAS and the length because I need to go and find it the maximum LAS of the entire elements. So every, any element can, can have the longest arithmetic subsequence as ending on him. So I'll just keep on and asking every element. Hey bro, what is the longest LAS you can provide and please give me that LAS. And by this I can simply solve it in O of n time because I'm going on every element exactly once. And for every element, I'm just asking, hey bro, what is element minus difference for you? Space is also O of N because I'm simply using an unordered map or a hash map uh, to get what is the previous number, right? Simply the code is pretty, pretty, pretty simple. Uh, it's just that I'll just do and take an unordered map. You can name it as anything. Then I initialize my LAS, longest arithmetic subsequence answer I one because for sure one element can always be just one element and that one element is always good. Uh, then I went on to all the elements and then for sure I need it to firstly update my length with the whatever i have got previous length of element minus difference and now you will say i don't what if this previous number element minus difference has not occurred cool if it is not occurred it will simply return a zero if it is occurred then it will just give me that whatever length it is stored in the map so if it is occurred then it will just give me that length else it, it will give me a zero even if it, it give me a zero i will have one as a length Starting off with the number itself. So I will just say, okay, hey bro, what is the maximum length you have got up to so far? And for sure you have element minus difference, which means you are for sure contributing in my AP. So I will just simply add a one. And with this, I'll get my new length, what is ever, whatever it is. And for sure, for every element, I'm gonna do it because I just want LAS out of entire array. So I'll just simply say, okay, hey bro, what is the LAS? I, because I want to maximize my LAS. So please do a LAS equal to maximum of LAS and this length. And ultimately you done that LAS, which is the longest automatic subsequence. And that's all you can simply get your answer. I hope that you guys got, uh, got it. Uh, so you're not, don't try to get Bye-bye.